Lord Jasnet, please try to stay calm. Stay calm? How do I stay calm? My Ridley, my precious, precious Ridley. Those filthy orcs, I won't let them get away with this. I've been working my fingers to the bone, trying to encourage friendship and trade with the non-humans. And this is the thanks I get. It's not dwarves, then it's orcs. Fairy creatures grow more insolent by the day. All because I reached my hand out to them. They need to be taught a lesson. I completely understand how you must feel. No one can question the enormous contribution you have made to the building of peace between the races. But that is why we should not let a moment of passion undo all that you have done. Hmm. Fine, fine. Just forget about the non-humans for now. But I won't forget my Ridley was placed in such terrible danger. Natalie was supposed to watch over them. She shouldn't have allowed this to happen. But responsibility ultimately lies with Gantz. That fat, incompetent fool. Hmm. If I may make a suggestion, my lord. Perhaps Ridley should be given her own brigade. Make Ridley a captain? Yes. Then you can assign only the best, most trustworthy knights to her command. It would, I think, be far safer for her than continuing to serve in the Rose Cochon Brigade. Brilliant, Lucian, of course! A magnificent idea! But there is just one thing missing from your plan. What's that, sir? It does nothing to make me feel better about what happened! What about those infernal half-wits in the Rose Cochon? It was their fault that my Ridley was hurt! Why don't you have Captain Gantz and the young trainee discharged from the Knights? Really? You think so too? Of course! They couldn't expect to get away with anything less! But wait! There's still a problem! And that is? Locks. He would never agree to it! Let me look into that. I'm sure there are a number of suitable pretexts we can employ. Hmm... My lord. Lord Jasnet, what are you saying? Forgive me, Lord Locks, but you are cruel to make me repeat this when it pains me so much to say it. Very well, once more then, the Rose Cochon Brigade must be disbanded. I want Ridley reassigned and made captain of a new brigade. As for Captain Gantz and the trainee Jack, they are to be dismissed at once. Is that clear enough? I'm sorry Ridley was hurt, but the Knights are under my command. By intervening, you are overstepping the bounds of your authority. Overstepping my authority? I am the Lord Chamberlain. I have the right to offer advice as I see fit. I have received Gans's report. I can find no fault in his judgment. With what crime would you charge them? They did all that they could to protect Ridley. Surely you realize that, Lord Jasnet. Everything they could? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Not only did Gantz fail in his duty, he put his entire command in grave danger. I also understand that the young trainee, Jack, has been insubordinate to his superiors. The two of them have besmirched the honor, dignity, and trust of the glorious Radiata Knights. It grieves me deeply, but we have no choice. If you were truly grieved, you would give them a chance to restore that honor. To impose such severe punishment for a single mistake is unprecedented. Gantz is the son of Sir Gawain. Jack is the son of Sir Cairn. Those men were two of our finest knights. We cannot simply wipe out their names with a single gesture. Larks, I did not realize you were so old-fashioned. 
knights cannot ride on the coattails of their parents. I did not expect to hear that from you. Is there a problem? In any case, I refuse. You are aware, of course, that the dismissal of the knights in question is mandated by the knights' charter. Oh, no. Now, who was it who wrote the charter? Can you help me out here, Larks? Hmm? I did. Oh, of course I am sorry. I'm afraid that my memory just isn't what it used to be. So, Larks, do you really intend to waive the punishment that you yourself laid down in that document? Very well, Lord Jesney. I will see to it that the Rose Cochon Brigade is disbanded as you have requested. Excellent! I'll let you draw up the orders. I'm sure you'll want to inform the Brigade yourself. Of course. Hey, Captain? Master Jack. What's wrong? You look as if your dog died. Hmm? Members of the Rose Cochon, due to several violations of the Royal Radiata Knights Charter, the brigade shall be disbanded as of tomorrow morning by order of Salute Locks, Commander-in-Chief. They're disbanding us? In addition, due to the aforementioned violations, the persons named below shall tomorrow morning be discharged from the Radiata Knights. Those names are ours, Jack. Discharged? You mean fired? They're firing us, but we didn't do anything wrong! We have to leave tomorrow morning? Just like that? And their only explanation is this crappy piece of paper? We have to complain! No, Jack. Raising a fuss will only cause trouble for Lord Larks. Who cares about him? Lord Larks tried to protect us. He did everything he could to keep us in the night. But his hand was forced. He had no choice but to get rid of us. Do you understand? If you say so... <sighs> I thought I would spend my whole life as a royal knight. I just never imagined that everything would end this way. Oh boy. Adele is going to be so mad when I get home. A Theater Van Cor recruitment flyer? Yes, Theater Van Cor is the Warrior Guild. I intend to join it. You could join too, Jack. Huh? I don't know. It's kind of sudden. The decision is yours, of course. It's up to you. I'm going to leave the castle tonight. I don't want to linger and make everyone feel uncomfortable. Goodbye. Oh. Hmm. This place looks really shady. So I decided to come along. Go with the flow. That's what I say. Jack? Hmm? I'd like a little pick-me-up. You're gonna have a drink? They'll probably have some kind of entry test. I'm a bit nervous. You don't need a drink. Besides, I'm underage. Jack, 
I'm sorry. Captain, wait up! Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Do you know who I am? I don't want to hear it, Jarvis. Don't come back until you've sobered up, you hear? Shove it! Watch it, Fatty! Hey, that's my captain you're talking to! Ask me if I care, shrimp. What'd you say? Jack, that's enough! We don't need any trouble. Don't worry about me. I'll make sure I go easy on it. Hey, kid, what was that? I'm going to chop you up like liver! Hey, I'm ready if you are. Big mouth wino. Uh, Captain? Here we are. 
We'll be fine, Jack. Let's just stay loose. Hey there. We're here to enlist. And who are you? I am Captain Gans Rothschild, formerly of the Rose Corshaw Brigade. This is my former subordinate, Master Jack Russell. Today we retired from the Royal Knights and came directly here to apply to your organization. Yeah? Okay, Tubbs. You're on the third floor. The kid goes to the second. Move it. You want to take the test, right? Uh, now? We don't have time for hoity-toity night ceremonies here. Now get your fingers out of your noses and hop to it. Y yes, sir! Gee, what happened to staying loose? Oh yeah, Tubbs will be with Gerald, our second in command. You get Sergeant Caesar, squirt. What kind of outfit is this? It's open. Whoa! How did he know I was here? Uh, yeah. Hi. You are an applicant. What is your name? Oh, Jack Russell. Very well, Jack. I would like to ask you a simple question. Why do you wish to join Theater Van Corps? Well, I got fired from the Knights. Hmm. An unusually frank young man. Is he just a fool, or is there more to him? Hmm? Next question. Imagine this situation. You have been sent on a very dangerous mission, and you find yourself alone. The rest of your party lies dead. What do you do? What do I do? I'm not really sure I get your point exactly. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. That is the end of my test. Please proceed to Deputy Gerald's room on the third floor. Jack. Yeah? All men must die. Yeah, that's for sure. I guess. Gee, what kind of test was that? He shows no tenacity of purpose and exhibits no fear of death. An intriguing young man. trying to kill me <laughs> you managed to dodge all right then let's continue huh 
Aren't you taking the test? Oh yeah, right. You swinging that sword at me kind of knocked me off track. Hmm. Minus three points. What? You allowed yourself to become flustered. During that time, three of your allies were slain. Therefore, minus three points. Oh, come on, no way! In war, there is no time for cowardice or incompetence. Now, if you're ready, we'll go to the training ground. Today, you get special treatment. If you can beat me in combat, you will pass the test and be able to proceed. You mean like a practical exam? All right, that's more like it. You'd better be sure you're ready. I won't be holding back. You didn't run away. I'm impressed. Oh man, I didn't even come close to winning. What did you expect, fool? I was a swordsman years before you were born. Now get on your feet. You have to go up to the fourth floor and see the boss. Huh? I like your guts, boy. You've passed. Now get moving. <gasps> yes, sir! Hmm. You're looking more like a soldier already. Thanks to me, of course. It's been a while since we've had someone like him in the guild.